that the memories are coming in flashes and they're getting closer together. So, if Michael flashes on what Claudia told him, we may finally know the truth. Yeah. All right, those memory flashes that I'm having, they're like these, these little bits of a movie I need for them to make sense. I'm trying to help you as much as I can. Well, if you didn't put that on my father, what was going on? What am I remembering? I came to visit you at the Aftercare Institute a bunch of times, Michael. Okay, did you say that you were sorry? Yes. Did you say you were responsible or you felt responsible? Probably. Why? Why if you didn't put that on my father? Look, when that gun went off, my life changed. And I'm going to be dealing with that for the rest of my life. So I need... I deserve to know. You do deserve to know. I understand that. Why won't you tell me? Because I can't tell you right now. I can tell you after the baby is born. And we know that Carly and the baby are going to be fine. That is your excuse for every... It's not an excuse, Michael. Okay, you need to understand something. How you ended up in the coma will be very upsetting to your mother. And if her blood pressure spikes... I know, you know I know. I don't have to... She could lose the baby. She'll be hurt. She could die. It's less, what? It's less than three no. months, okay? Three months? Three months. Three months of me not knowing when the memories are going to come or who's going to be in them or what's going to be said. I need to know what's going on with this so I can move on with my life. Look, I would have told your mother the truth a long time ago, but some very important information came my way right when we found out when your mother's pregnancy could be life-threatening. What if I just promise I won't tell her? I can't take that risk, Michael. Because you don't trust me? No, it's not because I don't trust you. You've got enough to deal with right now, okay? I'm not going to tack on a huge secret. Well, you think I'm just going to blurt it out or something? Your self-control isn't that good right now. You know that. It's getting better. But what if you accidentally told Carly the truth and something happened to her or the baby? You'd never be able to forgive yourself, Michael. You really have no faith in me, do you? I do have faith in you, okay? And as soon as the baby's born, as soon as we know that they're going to be okay, I will tell both of you exactly what happened the night you were shot. Or you're just going to find more reasons why you can't. I know it seems that way. But for the sake of your sister and for the sake of your mother, you're just going to have to wait a little longer. What are we waiting for? ABC's General Hospital, brought to you by Nintendo DS. So, we've got a whole bunch of trees. Four different types, four different sections. No sweat. Wait, so I can't go diagonally. Okay, let me try this again. This line here and that line there. I think that's right. And... The satisfying, infuriating, satisfying again puzzle solving game. Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Only for Nintendo DS and Nintendo DSi. Rated everyone 10 and up. Did you know Gogurt is specially made to freeze and thaw by lunchtime? So kids can have their favorite yogurt in their lunchbox. Gogurt. Freeze it, thaw it, eat it up. I love Kmart's new Country Living Home collection. Just look at my new overstuffed bedding. It's beautiful and so cozy we never want to get out of bed. Shop Kmart this week and get $20 off any $100 or more bed and bath purchase. They're smart and there's Kmart smart. Relief from feminine itch has always been messy, sticky, and thick. Until now. Introducing Vagisil Satin. As light and clean as satin itself. So comfortable, all you'll feel is relief. New Vagisil Satin Cream. The amazing scent of gain comes in detergent and fabric softener. Ah. Uh... Gain. Sniff sniff hooray. Chopped. Seasoned. Covered. Left. Slow, slow cooked. Returned. Left. Wowed. McCormick Slow Cookers. Live deliciously. How much can you get out of the Kenmore Elite HE5T washer? How about enough water and energy savings to pay for the dryer? Another reason why more Americans choose Energy Star rated Kenmore appliances than any other brand.
Okay, here's the thing. Doctor, I've been using these over-the-counter eye drops several times a day. For how long? For quite some time. Have you tried other drops? All kinds. Is there something else I can do? I'm writing a prescription for restasis. Prescription? What do I have? A type of chronic dry eye. Restasis is the only prescription drop to help increase tear production, which may be reduced by inflammation due to chronic dry eye. You'll make more of your own tears and need those other drops less. Restasis shouldn't be used by patients with active eye infections and hasn't been studied in patients with a history of herpes viral infections of the eye. The most common side effect is a temporary burning sensation. So it works. I use it myself. You use Restasis twice a day, every day. Go to Restasis1.com or call 1-800-913-3079 for this free information kit and a $20 rebate. Don't wait for your annual appointment. Call your eye doctor today to see if Restasis is right for you. Monday, 8, 7 central. One of my favorite moments was Joey in Star Wars. Of course. Of course. Horace Leachman making love to judges. Royal Cannon doing the jailhouse rock. Of course. My dad. Christy. Christy and the kiss behind the umbrella. Superman. Mel B doing splits. Master P and his Air Force One. And Miss Smith doing the can't touch this. Of course. There's always this. We're going to take a Take a commercial break. break. We'll make history this year. ABC's Dancing with the Stars live three-night premiere event Monday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Uh, hi. I brought this over to Lucky to congratulate him on getting married. Uh, it's for you too, obviously. How awkward is this, huh? Very. Were you wanting to come in? No, 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 that's okay. I, I don't want to interrupt. Because I'm just doing some paperwork for Lucky. Oh, Lucky hates paperwork. <laughs> he mentioned that a couple of times. You know, Luke hates paperwork, too. I'm starting to think that maybe it's a genetic thing. So what about Ethan? Did you guys ever work at your scam on paper? Tell Lucky I said congratulations, and, and I'm sorry that I bothered you. Are you doing this to be friends with Lucky, or are you just trying to impress Nicholas? I'm happy for him, Elizabeth. He loves you so much, and he must be over the moon that you're getting married. So I wanted to congratulate him. I hope that you can believe that, but if you can't, then there's really nothing I can do about it. I'll try to be a little more pleasant. You have a lot of reasons not to like me, but we're going to have to make an effort because I might be spending a lot more time at the hospital. And why is that? Because I'm thinking of going to nursing school. Being an x-ray tech is fine, but I'd like to have a more direct connection to the patients. Emily always loved the people more than lab reports. She too wanted a direct connection to the patients. It's kind of funny you haven't wanted that. Until now. So I'm just wondering, is this something you want, or is Nicholas pushing you into it? Wow, that must have been difficult for you to hear. Elizabeth. A song by Paul Beckman called Rainbow Song created yeah, September 18, 2009. Using the guitar chords. DMV7. Elizabeth, you know, she was the song is going to be so called. Honest. She was so honest. About Jason. She knows that it was completely over. I mean, I opened up about my life. Oh, she was so honest now. She was so honest. She was so honest. Oh, yeah, she was honest. So honest. So honest. She she was so honest now. Part of me that never really dealt with the man Elizabeth wanted. But now I know I am. 